and welcome to the one-year anniversary special of ArcGIS News. I'm Peter Klingman. Good times. Like my, dare I say, majestic facial hair, ArcGIS Online has grown a lot in the past year, and that evolution continues this month. Today I have for you a rapid-fire report about the April 2021 ArcGIS Online update. I'll start with partnered collaboration. Partnered collaboration is a way to establish a formal relationship between two or more ArcGIS Online organizations. You'll be able to streamline group management. Collaboration coordinators, a new member designation determined by the administrator setting up the partnered collaboration, will be established points of contact and they can add members from their organization to a group in your organization. Members from different organizations will also be able to collaboratively build maps and apps through a shared update group. You'll also be able to fine tune safe and secure content sharing. Contributing content can be limited to group owners and managers from different organizations who can ensure that the right content is curated and shared. At the April 2021 update, MapViewer beta releases for general use and will be called MapViewer. The original MapViewer will be renamed MapViewer Classic and remains the primary viewer for existing organizations for a limited time. Administrators can make the new MapViewer the primary viewer through their organization settings. Individual users can also control the primary viewer through their user settings. In addition to all the existing capabilities from the beta, the new map viewer introduces the following capabilities at the April release. Creating instant apps, dashboards, and story maps directly from the map viewer. Drawing features and placing stamps anywhere on your map using a sketch layer. Conveniently switching between layers when styling multiple layers and configuring pop-ups with the new layer switcher. Expanding your map using full screen mode. Creating charts with maps in the new map viewer, allowing authors to better understand and interact with their data. Finally, searching for and adding map image layers. The new ArcGIS dashboards, built on the ArcGIS API for JavaScript 4.x, releases out of beta into general use and is the default at the April 2021 update. You can take advantage of ArcGIS Arcade in list and indicator elements, selection-based display, and data expressions. You can also leverage the capabilities of the new map viewer, including dot density and multi-element pop-ups, and also create dashboards directly from map viewer. You'll experience performance improvements as dashboards load and maps draw. The previous version of Dashboards will still be available and will be renamed ArcGIS Dashboards Classic. You can still open or edit your existing dashboard in Classic, but we would encourage you to upgrade to the new version. All existing dashboards will be automatically opened with the new version, whether standalone or embedded in another app or website. The April 2021 update also has some exciting new features in ArcGIS Notebooks. You can automate routine tasks, run larger lengthy processes outside of work hours, or update data sets frequently by scheduling ArcGIS notebooks within ArcGIS Online at a set time or on a recurring basis. You can also pass parameters into notebooks on a schedule to account for different analytical scenarios or for security purposes. It's important to keep in mind that scheduling notebooks requires the schedule notebooks role permission. In addition to scheduling, you can also now take snapshots of notebooks at this update. At the April 2021 update, you can choose and customize colors and apply styles to different blocks on the homepage. This new approach to color focuses on accessibility with contrast guidance during the authoring experience. Admins and site managers can choose from eight preset themes that meet the contrast ratio of 4.5 that passes accessibility standards. They can also create their own custom color themes to align with the brand guidelines from their organization. The same contrast guideline for accessibility will also be evaluated. Our 
ArcGIS Experience Builder has a lot of new functionality coming as well, with the chart, query, and coordinate conversion widgets, as well as the capability to edit attributes in the table widget and also export to CSV. This wraps up the special report on the April 2021 ArcGIS Online update. Stay tuned for the What's New documentation and blogs to learn more about the features we covered today and everything else about the update too. Thank you so much for watching. Reporting live from Redlands, I'm Peter Klingman. Thank you.